Hello everybody, it's the um, Horror Fan Man here again. Just um, got back a few hours ago with my dad. We went on a trip to France just for the night. I we went to the Hard Rock Cafe in Marseille. Had uh, yeah, good meal there and um, yeah, quite a lot of drink. You know, the Hard Rock were good enough to um, treat me and my old man to a few extra beers. We had a great time. Flew out there half six Friday morning and um, we flew back today at half two. Only took an um, hour and a half for the flight. So yeah, had a great time. We always go to um, Hard Rock Cafes if we can and these are the glasses I like to collect. Got quite a few now, so I'm quite chuffed with that. I've got all of these ones here. Got a row of them there as well. Row of them here and that's the last ones there. Actually got married in Vegas, me and the wife, and spent the night there, the um, Hard Rock Cafe Casino in Vegas. So yeah, pretty chuffed about that. Had a good night. So while I was there, uh, found DVD store, so picked a few up. Just got three of them, it's the first one I got. It's um, Liette. De La Peur, which is Summer of Fear. It's a Wes Craven film. Yep, never heard of this one, but I've seen it on Blu-ray, and so I thought I'd pick it up. It's um, it's okay. Tell it's a TV movie. I mean, Linda Blair's in it. She's got a very big hair, and yeah, she um, it's got a relative. I think it's a cousin, and her mum and that die in a car crash, so um, she goes to live with them. And strange shit starts happening because she's like a witch and, you know, sort of puts people under a spell and makes them like her and all that. Yeah, it was an okay film. It was quite good. The picture was a bit in and out. But the worst thing was you got the French version, language version, and the English version. But the problem with the English version is it's got burnt on subtitles, which started getting on my tits a bit. But yeah, you know, try to blank them out. Never heard of it. Never seen it. I don't think it's available here. So, yeah. That's Summer of Fear. Next one I got. Massacre a la Troncanus. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yep, just got to get it with that title. I've got quite a few copies of this. And I like uh, films when they've got different titles. It's quite chuffed because <clears throat> none of them had a slip cover apart from this one. So, yep, nice black case there. Actually enjoy it. See, um two disc it's got the um dvd and the blu-ray as well nice black case yeah it's got um a lot of stuff on it a lot of extras on it you know um commentaries a couple of commentaries lots of conference stuff from the cans 2014 and yeah so leather face la restoration and that loads of other stuff with um actors and people from the film I don't know if they're actually in English or they've got the subtitles on as well. But yeah, I most mainly bought it because it was a nice French edition. So yeah, I'll watch out for that. It's a classic, you know. And the last one I got was my, one of my 80s favourites. Lovely cover there. I really like that. You know, it's got Diane Lane, Michael Parry on there. Really 80s retro cover. Love the film. Great songs. Used to love the um, vinyl of the LP when I was younger. William Defoe obviously in it as well. Yeah, some good um, good dance numbers and that in it. Well, not dance numbers, but you know, good songs, concert footage and that. Yeah, so quite chuffed with this. Actually, been wanting this on Blu-ray for a while. Nice disc out there. So yeah, well chuffed with that one as well. So they're the three I got from France. Back in you know, Marseille, pretty cool. I love them. All right, here's some um, other ones that I've um, picked up. Got this one today, it's only a quid. Joe Nesville's Headhunters might be um, quite a good film. Seen this in Poundland, so you know, seen a good DV, I mean, Blu rays there. I always pick them up. It's got the um, get out. Yep, it's got the slip cover on it as well. It's quite happy about. Don't know any really a lot about this, but 
you know, pick it up anyway, only a quid. And got this as well, 88 films, Creepshow 2, limited edition 2000 with a slip cover. There's the alternate art there, the old original artwork. So yeah, it's a good film, not as good as the first one, better than the third one. So yeah, it's got a um, screenplay for a sequel. Um, it's got the screenwriter George A. Romero, interview with him. Tales from the Creep, interview of actor Tom Savini. Brilliant, mate. Behind the scenes footage with Tom Savini as the Creep, theatrical trailers, TV spot, still gallery, film trailer reel, and obviously the reversible sleeve. But that's the same as slipcover there. So yeah, pick that up. So anyone interested in getting this before it um, goes out of print, the old slipcover, get onto 88 Film Store and put your order in. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get hold of it. So that's that. Chuffed with that. And don't know if a lot of people know, um, Arrow are sending out their reprint, the uncut version of Shivers. It actually says, let me see it here. It's not really focusing there. No, it actually says there, it's, um, it's actually the second pressing, so... Uh, you know in the future then. Still not focusing, is it? There it is. Second press in there. So, yeah. Well, chuffed for that. I'd like to thank Arrow for sending me that out. Because I DM the steelbook. So, yeah. Got the replacement for that. Pretty chuffed about. And finally, got hold of the Zombie Flesh Eater steelbook. Got a bonus at work, so I said to the wife, I either want to get a battle royale to finish my window box, which I never seem to see anymore, or get this and seen this on here for 34 quid, which I thought was a bargain. And oh, look at that! Absolutely stunning artwork on that, absolutely love it. And yeah, the guy sent it out, it was bubble wrapped, it was in a cardboard sleeve. And it was also in a bubble bag as well. And it was taped up and it was hard to get out. And look at that, it's actually in perfect condition. Not a mark on it. So, yeah, I'd like to say a big thank you to the eBay seller that got me that and sent it out. Really chuffed with it. That's all the Arrow Steel books now. That's that collection complete. <sighs> thank God. Also, got this one as well. One of the DVDs, which I'm glad because the other cover was in black, and I thought, wait a minute, all the rest of them actually got these white covers on. Oh shit! So I thought, yeah, looked at it, flipped it over, and there it was. I mean, this film was hilarious. I mean, it was meant to be like young women, and her there, she looks about 40, 45 years old. But yeah. It was such an 80s film. The fashion, the way it talked, everything. I mean, it was it was hilarious. And she was a right fucking bitch. Yeah, it's a real good fun film, I tell you. Absolutely hilarious. I mean, the scene where the girls first go into the dorm. And they're all in there in their underwear. And that is fucking amazing, man. It's so funny. So, yeah. I recommend this film. Anyone who loves her 80s shit. This is just pure 80s cheese. <sighs> So, got the single release of this as well. Your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. Still haven't watched it yet, but this might be a film I'll be watching later tonight. Yeah, I've got quite a few versions of the Black Cat. This is in the box set. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, really looks good. So, yeah, I like my old Giallos at the minute. I was hoping that Arrow, when they bought their new releases out, they'd have a few more, but they didn't. But, yeah. Look forward to watching this. Finally, got my single release of um, Bay of Blood. I watched this again the other day and with the commentary by Tim Lucas. Yeah, and I must admit, I really enjoy his commentaries. Uh, quite fun as well. Loads of information about it. And this is one of my top slasher films. It's brilliant, man. So ahead of its time, it's unreal. Like I said, it inspired Friday the 13th, which is one of my favourite films as well. This was brilliant, man. It had the violence, the nudity, everything in it. It was brilliant. And I know everyone out there has already watched it, but if you haven't, pick this one up. You won't be disappointed. Classic slasher. 
yeah so that's it that's all my stuff yeah um hopefully the omen who actually won my competition is actually got his stuff by now I haven't actually been online for a few days now so i don't know if he's messaged me but yeah I'd like to thank everyone for watching and that yeah had a good time good time in the old marseille as well we were staying where was we stay we were staying just on here just by the bay so yeah good fun there good to be back in england though i'd like to thank all my new subscribers um yeah keep your comments coming because i really do enjoy getting them got anything to say about any of the films i watched let me know thanks a lot everyone keep it horror